Welcome to Word of Flame, a television broadcast of Living Flames Baptist Church with a mandate to preach the gospel of Jesus with a message of salvation, peace, healing, deliverance, and touching our generation with the power and love of God. Hello, 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 everyone. Today I'm coming to you with the liberated gospel, the word of God that sets people free, the word of the Lord that breaks barriers, the word of God that has no limits, the word of God that can get into your marrow, into your bones, the word of God that can enter your past, your present, and your future. That is what I'm bringing to you. The word of the Lord that can bring light wherever there is darkness. God's word that he used in creating things where there was, there was nothing. He spoke and it came into being. That same power is still at work today as we declare his word. The Bible says that there was a woman who could not walk straight. Like some of us today, we can't walk straight. We were born with a bright star. But as we are growing up, it's like everything is becoming dim. Is not shining again. Maybe it has been bound. It has been covered. This woman was bent over, but she didn't know she was bound until she had an encounter with Jesus in the synagogue. And the Lord, who knows the secret things in the world, saw her bound. And the Lord said, You are loose, woman, from your infirmity. And the Lord touched her, and she was straightened up. She started rejoicing and praising God. Some of you, you have been asking questions upon questions. Others have been moving from man of God to woman of God, traveling from London to Benin, from Benin to Sokoto, from Sokoto to Kampala, from Kampala to Nairobi, looking for that which can help you come out of your infirmity. But the Lord has sent me to you through this word and telecast, wherever you are seeing it. That is a spirit that has kept you limited. Your, your financial life, money don't stay. You are limited. You are, you are bound spiritually. Eh? You are bound. You are blocked from holding money. Others have been bound from having the fruit of the womb. Some have been bound not to have their children around. That's why they are all scattered. Some have been also bound not to have their own house. You have your, your master's, your doctorate. But still, you are living in a ghetto. You are bound. Because they know that when you, you become free, hey, lots of people will rejoice. But in the name of Jesus, the same Jesus who told this woman, you are loose. I command you, wherever you have been restricted, may the power of Jesus release you. Be loose from every restriction. Either in your health, in your health, you've taken lots of medications, but still no solution. Maybe spiritual bondage. Whatever, if it's a spiritual bondage or a physical bondage, I command you, be loose in the name of Jesus. And may the power of the Lord touch you. Like Jesus touched the woman. May you be touched by the power of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Because the Holy Ghost is the spirit of Jesus. There are some of us also, we have been bound. And not to marry. We have been bound not to be ourselves. So we don't accept who we are. Isn't it very sad? It's not our will. But someone has bound us and he has placed another ideas into our brain. I command your brain be loose. I command your relational life be loose. That's why God sent me by his spirit to release you like Jesus released the woman. That is what I love about Jesus. Jesus loved people so much. Anytime people are released, Jesus is happy. 
and he's the same yesterday, he's the same today, and he's the same tomorrow. Therefore, I say, be loose from any kind of bondages. Be loose from poverty bondage. Be loose from tradition. Tradition that has held you, that has opened the door for all these ancestral spirits to be tormenting you. I lose you from it in the name of Jesus. There are miss you, O Boaster. Is it witchcraft that is holding you? Witches are wicked. They don't care whether you feed them. They don't care whether you take them to China, to America. They don't care if you buy them car. They keep you bound, turn you into a dog. And physically, they will see you a doctor. But spiritually, you are a dog. So it means that in life, you just be back and making noise, but nothing to show. May you be loosed to become a normal human being called and ordained and created by God to shine. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, receive the touch of God. As this woman was released and she went home happy, I pray that whatever that tied you in order to make you unhappy, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Receive your fulfillment in life. Receive your happiness in life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command all attachments be broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whoever put that blindness on you. Whoever put that spirit of depth on you. Depth, I mean depth. Uh, you are a blessed person, but you always borrow, you don't pay. Uh, it was placed on you and your potential was bound. Today I have been called by the Lord through the Holy Ghost according to Luke chapter 4. Be loose in the name of Jesus. Be loose in the name of Jesus so that you will not borrow and no pay. But you borrow, you pay and a time will come you will lend to others. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. These two Okumaha Trasti. Omafati Atrukubalapa. Jesus was born into the world through Mary, but the bloodline of Mary did not control him. Nor the bloodline of Joseph did control him. But he was born of the Holy Ghost. So he lived in the world, but he was not of the world. Likewise, as you were born into your family, your family spirit had control to a certain level over your life. Now that if you believed in Jesus or now that you have believed in the Lord, may your destiny change. May that influence be broken. In the name of Jesus, that spirit has held all your family people because they have not come into the Lord. It has held them for years, for years, for years. And they cannot go to places but it's a blessed family. That is why God has sent us with his word that if you can believe and invite Jesus into your life, into your family, into your destiny, you are going to go free and free forever like that woman in Luke chapter 13. Jesus said, woman, you are loose. Some people are hearing me today and you are bound by religion. I mean, false religion. Therefore, anytime you hear the truth of the gospel of Jesus being preached, then you are angry. It's not you that is angry. It's the demon spirit which has bound you that make you behave that way. But as you humble yourself and you allow Jesus Christ into your life, I see that spirit of bondage by religion breaking, breaking from your life. It's being broken by the power of the Lord. And, and this suit and that kaya. And the light of God will begin to shine on you to know the truth that liberates. Be free from bondage of religion. Be free from bondage of religion. In the name of Jesus. There's a woman hearing me today. Not you, only you, but lots of people. Bound by the spirit of inferiority complex. You have a personality. You know, your body, God created you perfect. But you always look down on yourself. You don't have confidence. You are well educated. So you are caught up. It's a bondage. But today, as you accept the word of the Lord 
and you receive Jesus, the resurrection and the life. May you be free from inferiority complex in the name of Jesus. That spirit of inferiority complex is being broken. Is being broken. Is being broken. It's being broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Wrong relationship. Hmm? You know it's wrong. It's taking some people to prison twice. You know it's wrong, but you can't come out. The spirit behind it is witchcraft, manipulating and keeping you bound. As you give your life to Jesus and you, you give yourself to Bible study, regular church attendance, may the spirit of the Lord liberate you from all these wrong relationships to work with godly people who influence your life into godly things, into righteous things, into good things that will produce good fruit. May you be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus set the woman free. Finally for today, some are hearing me today. You made some rituals in order to for protection and also prosperity in the past. And this thing has bound you. Every time you get bad dreams, it's only bad dreams you get. Instead of things working for you, now you are being tormented with fear. Fear and bad dreams. Sometimes somebody will come and abuse you in your own bed. That is a spiritual bondage. You don't like it, but it's happening. And any time after it has happened, you get sick. And some people too, you don't get sick, but your partner don't come to you. It always creates tension in your relationship. Today, in Jesus' name, if you renounce that ritual you did in the past, and you are truly going to surrender your life to Jesus and to his will, may the power of the Lord deliver you. You have to expose the secrets to your minister for further work on you. Else, your life will never be fulfilled. 30, more than 30%. Time is not on your side. God is giving you another page to walk straight. To walk straight. The moment you are released, you begin to walk straight. You will receive an anointing and a special grace to go faster in life. No more bowing slow again. You rise and mount up with wings as eagle. And you will fly to high places. And you will never be tired. God bless you and keep you. May you surrender fully to Jesus. He is the one that gives freedom. He's the one that died so that we will live. He's the one that suffered so that we will not suffer. The Bible says the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And the punishment we deserved, it was also laid on him. And by his stripes, we are healed. He was bound and loaded with a heavy cross so that we can walk free and free forever. Receive your freedom as you believe in Jesus. Did you know that everything happens for a purpose? But did you also know that God has a divine plan and purpose for you? Why? The Bible says in 2 Timothy 1 verse 9, who hath saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Come and discover your purpose in life at Living Flames Baptist Church, 363 Fullborn Road, Walthamstow, London, E17 4HL, or our branch at Cotsbrook Street, New Cross, London, SE14 6JB. Telephone 07940447472 or 07886533077. At Living Flames Baptist Church, we know that your life will never be the same again. When Jesus was in the synagogue, and he met this woman who had been bound for 18 years. This thing really blows my mind. Hey, who bound this woman? Alive but bound. You see how wicked the world is? Alive but bound by a spirit. It means there are spirits 
in this life whose work is just to bind people, bring restriction, bring limitation, bring infirmity, pain, make their way that was supposed to be straight, crooked. The woman's destiny was stopped. Who work with such a woman in an office? I've never seen that before. Or you go to the bank, then you see someone with infirmity bent down, the person sitting by the tail cashier. I've never seen that before. There's a place you can function. But if you have an infirmity or a minister, uh, one of our MPs bent, I've never seen that. I've been watching them <laughs> on TV. So the devil, not just to put sickness on the woman, but to stop her from fulfilling her destiny, to destroy her destiny, destroy her marriage. Let's see a younger person has been bound this way. Young men will be running away. Whatever destiny stoppers that has been released into your life to bind you so that you can be who you are supposed to be, I command them to lose their hope. Sometimes our spiritual eyes can be bound. We read the Bible, we don't see nothing. But when we are given uh, uh, newspapers, you understand everything in the newspaper. You buy even three types of newspaper, you read all of them. But the moment you take your Bible, just one verse, then you are sleeping. Like somebody I know, when, they go, when she's talking, she can talk the whole day. But at prayer meeting, let the prayer start now, then she will start sleeping. He can sleep and even snore for just one hour prayer. Like Jesus and the disciples in the Garden of Destiny. Such a person is bound. That has to be released. So prayer against spiritual blindness has to be done in order to break that bondage. Sometimes it can be a grave clothes that has been used to create spiritual blindness. So Paul the Apostle, the Bible says that Anytime he heard that people have given their life to Jesus in Ephesians chapter 1, Paul will always be praying that God will open the eyes of the understanding so that they will know, they can understand, they can read and have an encounter with the Lord. Any kind of grave clothes that are covering our church members, we command them to be broken in the name of Jesus. Command them to be removed. Any covering, covering. Yes, when people's minds are covered, bound, that is what makes most people become ungrateful. A church that stood with you, you married, you had a job, dedicated your child, your parents died, this same church helped to bury then you turn your back against the church and become ungrateful to minister, ungrateful to the whole church. Isn't that spiritual blindness? It means the covering has come on the brother or the sister. May that covering be broken in the name of Jesus. When people are, sometimes we can be bound and become unfruitful. We can be bound and our, our ability to hear and to act will not function. But other people who are released, they will receive the ability, they will go to seminars and they hear one, two, three, and they begin to function. But how come you and me, our ability to hear and to act is limited? There might be a spiritual secret. That is what I'm talking about. The woman was bound for 18 years. We shouldn't deceive ourselves again. When you give your life to Jesus, it's the beginning of the journey. Lazarus was asked to come back to life. When you give your life to Jesus, once you are dead, you come alive. Now you need to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. And working out your salvation with fear and trembling, that is the time step by step, things are released. Things are released. Your ability to hear will begin to work. Anyone that bound you, this is a judgmental prayer. Anyone that is alive and has teamed up with the powers of darkness to bind you, bind your generation, bind your siblings, bind your fruit of the womb, 
Today I command the judgment of God. Like Pharaoh was crushed in the Red Sea. May the Lord crush your Pharaoh. In the name of Jesus, for every bondage to come to an end, and I declare, let the people go. In the name of Jesus, I declare spirit of liberty on your life, on your family, on your siblings, on the fruit of your womb. In the name of Jesus, there was this asamrosta kefiria tandoro mama kapiru odromisti. Father God, I pray. Let the anointing be released to break every yoke. Let the anointing be released to break every yoke. Every yoke of restriction be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Father, as Jesus rose from the dead on the third day, may everything that is dead in my brother's and sister's life come back to life. Let him come back to life. Let it come back to life. Let it come back to life. Wherever there are bondages, I decree and declare, I command freedom. Freedom in your mind. Freedom in your soul. Freedom in your marriage. Freedom in your financial life. Due to the past bondages, that is why some of your financial life is restricted. I declare freedom to come. Freedom to come. Freedom to come. Freedom to come. In the name of Jesus, infirmity on your health. Be free from it like the woman. 38 years. Jesus said, now you are free from your infirmity. Be free from every infirmity. Be free from every infirmity. If you believe it, shout amen. Be free from every infirmity. In the name of Jesus, be free. Be free. Do you know there was a woman from Samaria in the book of John? This woman had an encounter with the Lord <laughs> at the well. And the Lord told this woman that uh, you've had lots of men into your life, uh, about five of them. And even the one who is with you, Jesus, Jesus said, is not your husband. You think you have arrived. This woman was bound not to have permanent relationship but for men to come and play with her life, enjoy her, and then they would dump her. So it means she was living in pain. You know, she was such a life. You go through pain, and she was growing too, growing and not settled. She wanted to settle down. So Jesus gave her the revelation that even the one who is with you is not the original. Hmm. If it were you, what will you do? I will kneel down and hold the feet of Jesus. So master, what must I do? She had an encounter. She became an evangelist. Through her life, the whole city came to meet Jesus. What do you think will happen to her? A new page was opened for her. He was released. If your case is like this woman, may you be released into a new page. May you be released into a new page. May you be released into a new page. Every shame be broken from your life. Disappointment be breaking, broken from your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, whatsoever that seems to be harassing your people as they listen to me, harass them, harass them, harass them, harass them by the power of the blood, harass them and let your people go free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Do you know what I'm doing? This is preaching of declaration. Preaching of release. Mixed with prayer. I say whatever harass you and bound you in the past, I command you to be released. Be released in your finances. Be released in your dreams. Be released in your destiny fulfillment. Be released. As the power of God touch you, I send the word of the Lord to you. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed. Father, you said in your word that you will contend with those that contend with your children. You said on the behalf of your children, you arise and fight for your children. And the enemies of your children shall be scattered by the power 
of the resurrection. Father, arise and favor your children in this season. Arise and favor your children in this season. In the name of Jesus, arise and favor your children in this season. In the name of Jesus, arise and favor your children in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I say be free from your infirmity. Like the woman, 18 years old, who told you you're not going to be free. Hey, as you believe in Jesus, as your Lord, as your master, if the sun sets you free, you're going to be free forever. Thank you for watching Word of Flame with Bishop Eric Intorian Kansa. Are you in the southeast or nearby city? We would love you to join us for worship at Living Flames Baptist Church, 363 Fullbourne Road, Walthamstow, London, E17 4HL. Times of service, Wednesday prayer and teaching, 8 p.m. Sunday family service from 10 a.m. Youth service, 1 p.m. For information and counseling, 0208-523-0811. Email p-n-t-o-r-i at gmail.com also if you are in the new cross area join us at living flames baptist church cotsbrook street new cross london se 14 6 jb friday prayer and miracle service 8 p.m sunday family service 12 noon to 3 p.m thursday from 12 noon counseling and personal prayers call to book a place 07940-447-472 or 07886-533-077 everyone is invited god that answers prayers by fire will meet your needs come and taste and see that the lord is good jesus christ is the answer to all your problems until next time god bless you